Alright, I'm back again, and I just got through playing Tunche Arena, Tunche, Tunchy, something something arena. And this is a game that's a lot like Shank if you played that for the Xbox, or most beat em ups, but it really reminds me of Shank. Because you can unlock skills, and really the combat just kind of flows like Shank a lot. You got the rolls and the jumps and all that. Um, kind of a new style beat em up. It, uh, it's not a full game, well, it's not the actual full game, this is kind of like the creators advertising the game, and if you, like, look at the actual game's video uh, on Steam, you'll find out that most of the gameplay seems to come from this, so, if you're looking for a full game, again, this is kind of just like a warm-up kind of game to get you ready for the actual release, kind of like the Age of Fear tutorial, except those games are already out. They're just trying to like raise interest for that. Um, Toonche is it's pretty fun. At least this one, I'm a, like a positive thing for this one is it has like an eight wave mode, and it actually seems to have like a little bit of story and like an end game. It also has like the endless wave mode if you just want to like kill things over and over again. There's not many uh, diverse enemies in this game yet, of course, because it's kind of like the free-to-play version of, I'm assuming. I don't know if the one they're actually releasing is going to cost money or not, but this is just like a free-to-play shank clone. That's It's pretty fun. You can upgrade your character and like um, make it play differently. If you go through the horde or the endless mode, you can pretty much unlock everything if you just want to see how everything plays together, or you can do the arena and you basically just get like so much XP and you do it and uh, pick your skills and then go through it. Uh, the design's really nice, it looks pretty good, like the environment and everything is pretty well done. This dude, if you want a secret achievement, if you harass him, he'll give you an achievement, which is cool. But the game gets really repetitive because there's not a lot to do in it yet. Hopefully when they actually release the game and there's a story it'll be a little bit more entertaining but these are the skills you have magic skills and then you have your physical skills and I just leveled my physical skills because I didn't know what I was doing and that's your special move which is shooting mud <laughs> I, super mud attack that's what it is it's like mud slap you thought mud slap was strong in Pokemon look at it now <laughs> waves of mud but uh, it's the story mode is not too challenging. There's nothing that's like super hard in the game. There's nothing that's going to like keep you from beating it, except for one mob, which you'll see in a bit. This mob is the secret boss of the game. There's an actual in-game boss, but he is not the secret boss. He is not the actual boss of the game. I'll show you when he comes up. It's crazy. But um. Yeah, so this, you don't really explore too much in this since it's like an arena. You just basically go to your spot and then fight everything. Nothing too difficult. Or game breaking. This isn't one of those games that's going to like be a different kind of game that you've never played before. It's kind of generic, but... It's not too bad. I'm struggling. So there's actually different menus where you can do your tactics and like roll, upgrade your roll and your jump and then your health and freaking yeah these frogs are they die super easy nothing really does too much damage if you go into the endless mode when you're playing it like the endless mode actually has a good bit more like the farther you get they'll do more damage if you want to get on top of the leaderboard now is probably the time to do it too I think I got to like 60 on my first run so if you want to be that guy and just be the top of the leaderboard I don't know if any cheaters have gotten on it yet that just maxed the score out but I don't think so also this has like a shank style thing too where like the better you do not necessarily combos make it go up but like if you don't get hit for a while your grade goes up and you can get to the SSS stylish or whatever it is I only got to the regular S because I'm not that good and only really pull, put enough time into the game to beat the story mode and then like get to pretty far in the waves that's where I spent most of my time was playing the waves because really the story mode only takes you like it took me I think 
maybe 15 minutes to do it and that's with me dying once because the secret hidden boss that's freaking awful <laughs> but yeah it's kind of like one thing about it it'll, I'm hoping when they fully release it there'll be more skills because in Shank you have like so many options you can use different weapons and the different weapons to set up different combos and it makes it a lot easier I actually didn't even play Shank I watched somebody else play Shank so I'm obviously an expert at it I know everything about Shank <laughs> test my knowledge but yeah you get different weapons than that but this it just seems like you have maybe four different combos including the magic so nothing super groundbreaking yet I don't know how long it's gonna be before they release the actual game um, I don't know how long people have been waiting for the actual game either if they've been waiting for a while and this is kinda like oh they're doing it <laughs> that kinda sucks for them they're waiting for it but it might be coming out soon supposedly it's coming soon which is good oh I don't know if it'll be free to play if it is free to play I'll review it if not then I probably won't because these kind of games is even though they're fun for a little bit they kinda get old nothing too challenging but so I'm gonna skip ahead to the actual hidden boss this dude is freaking awful he's the giant potato frog oh my gosh <laughs> and that hitbox for that tongue is deceivingly large if you're like right on top of him he will hit you and when he's taking that dookie that means run <laughs> because he will beat you to death while you're laying on the ground when he looks like he's about to throw the most fire disc track of 2019 you know he's about to start rolling at you and that means run away I think at this part I got scared because he took so much of my life that I just tried to start shooting him, but no mercy. <laughs> Frogman has no mercy. Oh my gosh. If you wanted to see what a potato frog looked like in the viciousness, this is it. This is probably one of the better things of the game is a potato frog. It brings joy to my life. But I'll show you this hitbox in a second because I don't think this hit me. It kind of threw me off when it happened. Look at that. I dodged. I'm like below him and that thing fucking tongued me. But yeah. And then you have freaking mystical grandma cheering you on. Like, Don't give up yet. You're doing so well. And then you fight. This is me skipping back to him. Getting my revenge against the potato frog. I actually picked some health. Which makes the story a lot easier. If you want the easier way of doing the story. Max your health out and just get the combat that's all you really need to beat it yeah secret boss defeated so this is the actual boss he's uh, he's got different phases and some of the like attacks are hard to dodge but he doesn't do like near enough damage for a final boss to be like extremely challenging or anything like that this is basically his little cutscene saying I'm better than you blah 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 I'm a dolphin we're the superior creatures thank you for the fish all that good stuff but once you beat him you get a trophy and you kinda just lord it over all the frog people that you defeated and vanquished because our character is such a good person inspirational grandma's just like oh you're so good at this game keep it up yay <laughs> and there's uh, the trophies I looks like a pink slime and this is where I got to the wave the final wave that I did was 30 because I was starting to get bored and I was against the potato frogs and they have no mercy two potato frogs oh my goodness <laughs> they are awful critters but yeah the wave mode is really repetitive it gets pretty boring there's no like hidden enemies that you're just gonna find in the wave mode that's pretty much why I let them kill me <laughs> let I guess but yeah I'd give this game a 6 out of 10 because it did have a kind of in game even though it was really short thanks for watching and uh, try to do more of these videos bye